So if you haven't stepped into the world of AI lately, then you are in for a treat today. Check this out. So I'm scrolling down the Internet and I'm trying to figure out what would help me in terms of photo retouching. Because my area of expertise is not photo retouching. I'm more fluid in like, say, Photoshop and Illustrator, but not photo retouching. So I found this big, bright website. You can't miss it. And it's called Evoto.ai. And it is awesome. Check this out. So here's the website right here. And it has some features here. The Get started tab. Pricing. We'll get to that in a moment. Help and support download and your sign in here. So if you need to download, just click on this button here and determine your system and you're good to go from there. Now, here's some of the features, portrait retouching, color tone, background adjustments, etc. But check out the pricing structure. OK, we click on the pricing structure and eighty four dollars for twelve hundred credits now. Every time you export an image, it's one credit. So technically for $84, you can export 1,200 images. Now let me do just a just quick little math here. Let's say a photo retouch is $100. You multiply that by 1,200 credits, you do the math. So that so basically what I'm saying is that eighty three ninety nine or that eighty four dollars is well spent. I mean, that's just from a, a standpoint of business in the positive as opposed to in the negative. So that is that right there. Now, let's jump into Evoto. Let's get to what we all came here for. This is awesome. And it's 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 really, really good for an individual like myself who that's not my expertise. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so check it out. So let's jump into Evoto here. So here, once you download and get everything installed on your system, here's what it looks like right here. So you have your home tab right here and over here. Uh, right hand side, this your export list. Click on your export list and it shows you what you've done. Click back right here. And here right here would be your account. My name is Anthony. So it starts with an A, put an A there. Um, and then your buy now button so you can buy the credits now. Let's import an image. Import an image like so. We'll pick this one here. Imported the image. Now, before we get into this, let me give you a basic um, understanding of the UI or the user interface. So over here is our home button. This big plus button, we can import image another image so you can import images if you like more than one. And then over here is our reset presets um, arrow here. And we'll get to that in a second. Here is our hand tool. So you can take and drag your photo like so. The liquify tool and the healing tool. Now, some of us are that are familiar with Photoshop. We've seen these buttons before. OK, so let's go over here. Let's just say in the, in the presets. Let's just say let's zoom her in just a little bit like so. And let's just say we wanted to go down here, just choose a, pe a preset. We wanted to say, let me say, uh, maybe cinematic cool. Click on that. It does it for us. Now that that is straight out the like Hollywood movie type deal, in my personal opinion. Add sort of that that uh, that teal kind of look to it a little bit. Now, to reset that, we head back up here to this arrow, click that, and it is reset. Okay. And this right here, this is our layer, our color layer mask here. And this is our history tab. So every time we do a function, it'll show us what we did right here. And to collapse that, just uh, click one of these buttons twice, and it closes that. Now, over here on the right-hand side, we have our color adjustments right here. And you can scroll through that. And it also has some presets right here as well. Okay, it has your histogram, exposure, contrast, your curves, color grading, lens correction, color calibration, etc. And underneath that, 
is our portrait retouching and that's the area we are going to focus on today down here is a background adjustments now we're not going to focus on the background adjustments but i just want to show you something real quick check this out so let's zoom her in a little bit like so watch this seconds not even seconds just no time at all background gone so fancy so fancy so we head back up here and click this little arrow that's basically the reset click like so it puts us back where we were originally okay that right there is the background adjustments then down here we have the clothing deal which is bas uh, basically the clothing adjustments or the de wrinkle etc but obviously she doesn't have any wrinkles on her clothes so that wouldn't pertain to this particular image and down here is our crop tool so you can crop your photos so let's click on portrait retouching let's see what we have going on now if you notice we drug this picture in and we haven't touched none of these here and it automatically determines that it's a female so that is good to know so let's zoom in here so we'll Focus on blemish removal. We'll check out skin retouching. We'll do the eyes. And I think that's it for this particular tutorial. We're just focus on um, getting things cleaned up, if you will. So let's zoom her in a little bit pull it in like so now this particular photo doesn't have very many freckles if any freckles at all and uh, she doesn't have any blemishes uh, what people would consider blemishes though like say for instance if you had like maybe an acne scar or kind of an indentation that's what individual individuals would consider a blemish but she looks fine in this photo I just want to uh, create this for the sake of the tutorial so let's do this so under freckle and acne check this out let's zoom in a little bit so we need to see this check this out so pull it over just a little bit let's torch it all the way over like so look at that So how you can check your before and after, just hold the space bar, hold the space bar like so. And that's the before. Let it go. That's the after before after. And if you pay attention, if you look at this. You see how clear this is a crispy photo, by the way. You see how clear this looks. So you can see the texture and the smoothness of the of the skin. Any place where she would have, like, say, for instance, in this area where it would be with a blemish watch this now when you take this off it's still the texture still there and the skin still smooth that is great that is great we could stop right there if we wanted to I mean that's good but let's add a little bit more spice to it okay so let's go down here to what we're gonna do skin retouching okay pull down skin retouching now zoom in a little bit let's do the smooth skin smooth face skin pull this over this is a dodge and burn technique before after before after it doesn't lose anything it doesn't lose anything that's amazing now let's try face skin smoothing pull this all the way over that looks good that looks good let me see if I don't even think we need a hundred percent let me see how about 75 75 works before after before after amazing amazing now down here we have the skin color here so let's find something that would basically match her skin tone. Spacebar to view our before. Okay, 
me see how about something like so. Maybe this. That lighter shade of brown looks good. Now we can mess with the amount here. Pull this down a little bit. So it blends in. Let's see. Before, after. Let's fit it to the canvas. Before, after. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Let's bring it back. Now let's try the eyes. Look at the eyes here. Let's start with the left eye. And see right here in the middle, that's the link button. So with that activated, it will control both eyes at the same time. We'll just leave it activated for now. Let's pull this over a little bit. Kind of brighten up the eyes. Pay attention to the brown parts right in this area here. Let's pull that out. Okay, before, after. Maybe that's a little strong. I think that works, okay. Now if we zoom in a little bit more, we can see how this photo has eye veins. We can get rid of those, watch this. We'll just take eye veins right here. Let's just go ahead and go over to 100. Gone. One second. Before. After. Before. After. Whew. That doesn't make no sense, guys. That doesn't make no sense at all. That's amazing. Close these out like so. Then to export it, only thing you have to do is go up here, click export, and it will send it to your system wherever you choose to place it at. Okay, let's get one more look before and after real quick. Let's go ahead and one to one it. Pull it down just a little. There we are right there. There's the before. There's the after. Before after what can we say guys what can we say now ladies and gentlemen that's how you beautify an image in evoto in seconds think that'll do it for this video and like always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one